Hello, my name's Bex. I'm one of the physios at St Nicholas Hospice and hopefully this video is going to help you when you're feeling breathless to breathe the best that you can, understanding that uh, maybe your lungs are not working as well as you want them to. Um, the first thing that is important to remember is that when you get breathless, people often start to take quick, very shallow breaths, just breathing with this top part of your lungs here. Um, and, the, and the lungs are actually narrower at the top and as they come down in your rib cage, they get wider towards the bottom near where your tummy button is. So if you're only doing these shallow little breaths up here, you're not actually using all of this area of your lungs to exchange the oxygen and the carbon dioxide. So a good way to try and take that air right down to the bottom of the lungs, to the tummy, is to put a hand on your tummy or maybe a hand either side at the bottom of your ribs. Breathe in through your nose if you can, because that helps um, filter out any bugs that you're breathing in and also naturally humidifies the air coming in. So in through your nose if you can, if not in through your mouth. Nice and slow, not forced, but just right down to the tummy and you'll be able to feel if you're doing that because you'll, you'll know that your hands are rising and falling as the air comes in to the bottom of your lungs there. Um, nice and slow. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed, not hunched up and tense up around your ears and a nice slow relaxed breath out. So we call it lower abdominal breathing sometimes, right down to the bottom and, and have a hand there to make sure you're doing it correctly. Um, not these <laughs> little breaths at the top. The other problem with doing those quick, shallow breaths and just really focusing on getting the oxygen in is that you get to the point where your, your lungs are tanked up full of that old air and the next breath in can't actually be of any use to you, it's got nowhere to go. So that's why we often say that the out breath is actually the most important breath to get right because you need to take a good breath out, empty out your lungs of the old air so that they're ready to receive that new breath of air coming in full of the oxygen. So you breathe out all the old air, all that carbon dioxide that you don't need and make space for that new breath coming in. A good rule to, to think about is try and make your out breath twice as long as your in breath. Um, and if you want to breathe out through pursed lips, that can help just splint the airways open a little bit more so that the, the air can flow and travel easier. Um, but but trying to make that out breath the most important one as you're breathing and then that in breath will actually take care of itself and, and be able to, to do you some good.